Welcome to day 964 in a row of working out. My name's Goldie. This is the daily triathlon training and fitness vlog. I just worked out and I'm here to talk about it. Today we had two workouts on the schedule and the tip of the day is something that's going to be pretty short to talk about, but it's really helpful. So if you want to skip ahead to that tip of the day, go ahead, check the description below. I got the timestamps down there. You can fast forward to that. If you want to stick around and hear about the two workouts, we're going to get started right now. Workout number one was a run. The way the timing of my day works out, sometimes I have to do things in reverse order or really not the way I'd want to do it. Typically, you should do your strength training first and then your cardio. But with the Texas heat, I got to get my running in early. So that's exactly what I did. I had an hour and 20 minutes and it was an intense run today. We had a 15 minute warm up and then it was four, I'm sorry, five cycles where we would go eight minutes at a seven minute 655 pace, followed by a four minute rest or a jog. And we repeated that cycle back and forth. And then that was it. It was pretty easy to understand conceptually, but obviously very difficult to execute. But you know us, we got it done, feeling good, building that speed. Remember what we talked about yesterday, interval training is essential to getting better building that VO2 max and building muscular development in your endurance training as well. That was workout number one. Workout number two, we hit alpha strength fitness. It was pretty exhausting hitting that class after a 10 and a half mile run, especially because the strength portion of the uh, alpha strength today was squats. So we did five sets of squats, sets of three. So, so it was 225 pounds. We worked our way up to 245 pounds. It's about my 85, 90% max. And it felt really good. Strict form, get that ass to grass, as we like to say, nice and low. And then the second part of the workout was our Metcon. The Metcon today was a 1,000 yard uh, meter, I guess, ski erg, followed by 50 push presses with the bar. So a 45 pound bar holding it in that front loaded position, going all the way down, exploding up over your head, and then 30 pull-ups. You had 12 minutes to do it, and I got done early. So with about four minutes left, I started going every 30 seconds. I would do sets of five, so I wound up getting to 65 pull-ups total. Felt great, and it was great to get the workouts done nice and early today. So now we have arrived at the tip of the day, and my tip of the day is going to be with any training program that you're following, consistency always beats intensity. I'm going to repeat that. Consistency always beats intensity. It's not something that you maybe are even cognizant of when you're working out. But reminder, you don't have to go at 100% all the time. And trust me, this is coming from somebody who in the past has gone 100% all the time, every time. So for instance, in running, there's a concept which sounds bizarre, but you run slower to run faster, which means the majority of your running is done in zone two, that lower interval building that base, because that will help to recharge those batteries, build that endurance for which to build from. And like we always talk about, intensity training or high intensity interval training does have its place, but it's not meant to be done literally every day at full capacity. So keep that in mind when you're designing a program or you're in a program, really pay attention to your rest periods. Your heart rate shouldn't be redlining all the time. Reminder, consistency always beats intensity. So I just wanted to convey that to you because I know it's tough to dial it back, especially if you're in that mindset where you're just constantly competing against yourself every day. I gotta get better today, I gotta get better today, I gotta. A chart of improvement doesn't look like this. It looks like this, okay? So there's ebbs and flows to your training and make sure that you're being smart about it. So that's my tip of the day. I hope that's helpful and I hope you take that to heart because I gotta tell you, my training got much, much better results from taking that into account. And now that I have a coach, it's built into my program so I don't even have to think about it. And I'm getting alerts on my watch every day. Performance is improving, performance is improving. So. Take it from me. So that's it for today. Thanks for following. As always, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment below. Do you have trouble slowing down? I know I did, like I said, and I'd love to hear how you overcame that. Or if you start to do it, 
drop a comment below and see how you feel. Let me know your thoughts because I'll tell you what, not going as hard as you have, can all the time definitely makes you feel refreshed after the workout. So that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm Goldie. I'm checking out from Dallas, Texas. We'll see you tomorrow.